What is up guys, Dane again. This video is from a digital course that I was working on called Facebook Ad Mechanics. Instead of just trying to release it and trying to make you buy it, I am actually just going to give the content for you for free. Each lesson is going to have a short uh, lecture section where I just simply talk to you about what we're going to be accomplishing in explaining it. And then after that, we're going to be jumping to my computer and I'm going to show you exactly what to do. So with that being said, go ahead and enjoy the lesson. You're going to be hearing from me talking about what we're about to do, and I hope this serves you. Let's talk traffic. Now I know when I was talking about the pixel, I kind of led on a little bit more about this. We're going to go ahead and talk a little bit more in depth about the traffic ad before we go ahead and implement it. Now the main purpose of the traffic ad is to send people to your website, to your landing page, but you can also use it to say send people to a video, to a podcast, to just about anything that is on the internet. And that's great. Like say for example, you got a new blog post and you want to get some traction on it. Boom, right there, traffic ad. Sorry, a little itchy. Now, one thing that is relatively new is when it comes to the traffic ad, you really have two options. You either have link clicks, or you have landing page views. Now, I know a lot of you people out there, you probably don't have a landing page, that's okay. If you have a website, stick with this one. When it comes to this side, this is link clicks. This is more just sending raw traffic. To break it down another way, landing page views is more of a quality. The people who are clicking on this know that they're not accidentally clicking on something. I think the way how Facebook figures it is these people are more likely to wait for a website or a landing page to load. Link clicks, you might get some people that just accidentally clicked on that call to action button which means like, oh, that's a waste of click. These people, you know, this is a bit more quantity. You're getting a lot of them and it's good for seizing your pixel, but you wanna make sure that it's just not a bunch of bounces or else your Facebook pixel is gonna get a little bit lost when it comes to determining who is good for your website or page. So keep that in mind. If you're just looking to get traffic, link clicks, if you're looking to actually get some people that might take action, focus more on landing page views. These might cost a little bit more than these, but you have to figure, quantity versus quality. So let's go and jump in and I'll show you how to send a traffic campaign. All right guys, now we are on the path to getting conversions. So how do we do that? We send traffic to our website. So let's go ahead and jump on in. First thing you wanna do is of course, get traffic. Rename your campaign and keep on moving forward. Now, as you can already tell, the traffic campaign is considerably different than everything we've looked at this far. And the first thing starts right up here. Now, I always tend to send people to a website because that's the type of clients I deal with. However, if you're trying to get people to install an app, right here. And say if you have a messenger bot, well, guess what? We have an app for you. We have a selection for you as well. I'm going to be getting to this one in the next video. I think this is a criminally underused piece, and we'll be top, definitely talking about this guy. And of course, at this point, you should already know what you're doing when it comes to audience. And of course, your placements. Make sure to set up your budget. And now this is something I really want to stress right here. Now, in the other videos, we really was talking about like, oh, impressions or engagement and stuff like that. Well. Think of it this way, now we are starting to send people to your website to take an action. And this is the first step into having ads that convert. Now, we really have two options. We either have link clicks or landing page views. Now landing page views is a relatively new option. Before traffic was all link clicks, meaning Facebook is sending this ad to people in the audience that you've defined that are more likely to click on a link, say to a website or to a blog post or to a video. Landing page views is a little bit different. Typically marketers, we like to have a landing page or a sales funnel on the other end of an ad. When it comes to optimizing for landing page views, that means Facebook is gonna be sending this ad to people who are more likely to wait for the page to load. Now I know that sounds like a super weird way to say it, but think of it this way. Link clicks could be accidental clicks, 
Well, when it comes to people with page view optimization, they know what they're clicking on. Yeah, you'll still get maybe one or two that didn't really work out, but these people know that they are clicking on something to go to a website or a landing page. So say if you're driving people to a website or a landing page, either for a purchase, a contact, or something of that nature, make sure it's on landing page views. However, if you just want to get a lot of traffic to your site, go ahead and start with link clicks. Think of it this way. Link clicks is kind of like quantity, while landing page is more like quality. Link clicks are typically cheaper than landing page views, but say if you have a whole bunch of link clicks, but you didn't get any conversions, well, that could be a whole bunch of bunk things. Um, one strategy I could recommend as to why you would want to do link clicks is to kind of season your pixel. Now, if you haven't installed your Facebook pixel, please, I strongly recommend to stop this video and head over to my pixel video because you remember this, we're sending people to your website. We want to make sure we can track them and see what information we can get. So for this, I'm sticking with landing page views. And now we're continuing on. Now one thing I do want to stress is you technically can run a traffic ad to a website without a pixel, and that is fine. However, you will not have the option to do landing page views. You can send people there all the time, but as I said, we want to see what these people are doing and the type of people we're getting as well. I'll be talking about that a little bit later down the line when I talk a bit more in depth about setting up custom audiences. So let's go ahead and set up our creative. As before, we have a couple of different formats, and you know me, I like choosing video. While our video is processing, let's go ahead down and set up our ad. Now I went ahead and make sure I put the URL to the website I want to send people to. And of course right here we're going to work on the text. So let me go ahead and jot some stuff down real quick. Alright, so I got my text all set up, I got my little line right there. And just like in the video views, we're actually going to go ahead and do just about the same thing. We're going to make sure our captions are all nice and generated so everyone can see this. And of course, I'd be going back and editing that. And let's go ahead and choose this one. And look at that, we are ready to send people to my website. So go ahead and give this a try.